Hey, what's up everyone? In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Vault API Explorer to play around with Vault's rich API and better understand what curl commands that you may need to use to access different functions within HashiCorp Vault. So I've already logged into the user interface of Vault, and what we're gonna do on the top right up here is we're gonna click this little terminal button, and that's gonna give us access to Vault Browser CLI. Now, this is a quick way that you can quickly run Vault commands in the event that the Vault UI does not, in the event that the Vault UI does not yet support a command that you need to run. All right, so what we can do is simply type in the words API, in here and hit enter. So it's gonna say, welcome to the Vault API Explorer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is minimize this, and here we have the Vault API Explorer. Now, notice this warning down here. It says, if your token has the proper capabilities, this will create and delete items on the Vault server. So I'm actually logged in as a root token just because I'm running Vault in dev mode on my local machine. But if you're doing this in a production environment or just a work cluster, right, Vault cluster, then just be very careful what you do in here because this will actually execute API commands against Vault. So if you are playing around with an API that deletes data or something like that, and you say try it out and you tell it to execute, well, Vault's gonna go delete that data for you. All right, so just be careful with that. So what we can do here is we can actually filter and look at all the different API endpoints that Vault supports, right? So we scroll down here, we have things like identity, we have things like, let's see, all the sys configuration, right? It allows us to manage policies and secrets engines and auth methods and all that good stuff. Uh, we've got things that we can manage around tokens and everything else in Vault. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find authentication. I'm gonna look for user pass because I have user pass already enabled on this vault cluster. So here's what I want. Log in with a vault username and password. Maybe I'm using user pass for, I don't know, a Jenkins CI CD pipeline, which you probably shouldn't be using user pass for that, but just an example, maybe I wanna know how to log in with the user pass for my pipeline. Well, what I can do is click this and you can see you get information about this particular call. You have a parameter up here and you have to specify the username of this user. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on try it out in the top right and that's gonna allow me to type in my user. So my user locally is just Brian. So I can scroll down and I can say execute this command, right? Send a request with the current vault token that you're logged in as. So if I click execute, it's gonna go ahead and execute that for me. So here you can see the response. We see the curl command that we can run against Vault to perform the action that we just wanted to do, which in this case, it was log into Vault using our user pass name, Brian. So this is the curl command that you would run. Now, of course, you would put the string here for your password, all right? So we're probably gonna get a bad username or password because we didn't provide that. So if we go back up here and we type this in, so I think the password here is just Brian, and I'm gonna execute that one more time. So if we log in, you can see we have a successful authentication with Vault. Again, we get our curl command that we use to authenticate to Vault. You can see we also have the data that's associated with it. You can see the request URL that we called, so v1 auth user pass login Brian. And then finally, we actually get the JSON response back from our API call. So we get information about when the request was made and all that good stuff. But most importantly, because this was an authentication request, we actually get our client token back right here. So you can see that this was a successful authentication. You can see what to expect when you have an application or a CICD pipeline or something like that. Use the API to make a call to Vault. This is the response that we would expect. And of course, this is in JSON. So what you can do is simply parse out the client token by dot auth dot client token right here, and you would get the client token. Now you can use this client token to make other calls to Vault, like obtaining secrets or generating credentials. All right, so pretty cool way that you can play around with the Vault API if you're not necessarily familiar with it and you feel more comfortable playing around in the user interface to learn how to make curl commands against HashiCorp Vault.